Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the mole and the Avogadro constant. You should then be able to calculate the number of moles in a given mass of a substance. Now we looked at calculations involving moles at GCSE. In this video we're going to look at the mole in a bit more detail. You might find some parts of this video tricky but please keep going with this video and the rest of the videos in this topic. It does get much easier over time and with practice. So we're going to start by discussing what's meant by the mole. I'm showing you here the element carbon. Now there are several different isotopes of carbon and one of these is called carbon-12. If we take exactly 12 grams of carbon-12, then this contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of carbon-12. Now 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is a really important number in chemistry. And that's because this is the number of particles of a substance in one mole of that substance. Scientists call this number the Avogadro constant and this has the symbol capital N capital A. So remember that the Avogadro constant has a value of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole. Now in A-level chemistry the number of moles that we have of a substance is called the amount of substance. And amount of substance has the symbol lowercase n. The unit for amount of substance is the mole and the symbol for the mole is lowercase mol. So for example, if I have two moles of a substance, then the amount of that substance is two moles. Coming up, we're going to look at what's meant by molar mass. Okay, now if we know the mass of a substance that we have, then we can calculate the amount of that substance in moles. To do that, we need to know the mass of one mole of that substance. Scientists call the mass of one mole the molar mass. Molar mass has a symbol capital M and the unit's grams per mole. Now working out the molar mass is actually very easy. For an element, the molar mass has the same value as the relative atomic mass, but the units are grams per mole. For a molecule, we use the value of the relative molecular mass, again with the unit's grams per mole. And for a giant structure, we use the value of the relative formula mass, again with the unit's grams per mole. Okay, so once we know our molar mass, how do we calculate the amount of substance in a given mass of substance? Well, to do that, we use this equation. The amount of substance in moles equals the mass in grams divided by the molar mass in grams per mole. And if you prefer, you can use this triangle. Okay, so let's take a look at some example questions. Here's the first. Calculate the amount of substance in 388.85 grams of calcium chloride. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we need to calculate the relative formula mass of calcium chloride. Calcium chloride contains one calcium atom and two chlorine atoms. Adding up the relative atomic masses gives us a relative formula mass of 111.1. So this tells us that the molar mass of calcium chloride is 111.1 grams per mole. To calculate the amount of substance, we divide the mass by the molar mass. Dividing 388.85, by 111.1 tells us that we have 3.5 moles of calcium chloride. Here's another example for you. I'd like you to calculate the amount of substance in 256 grams of methanol. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we need to find the relative molecular mass of methanol. A molecule of methanol contains one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. Adding up the relative atomic masses gives us a relative molecular mass of 32.0. So this tells us that the molar mass of methanol is 32.0 grams per mole. Dividing 256 by 32.0 tells us that we have 8 moles of methanol. Okay, in the next video, we'll continue looking at calculations involving the mole.